So it's actually topical stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. My handwriting. <laughs> yeah, a slightly different situation. Happy Lent. How are you guys doing? You guys are all devoted Catholics, clearly, right? I grew up Catholic, but I was never really that into it. It wasn't until I was about 18 that I felt like I was finally saved from being Catholic. <laughs> like, I thank God every day for rescuing me from that religion. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. You guys are all Trump supporters, right? <laughs> Seems like a super Republican crap. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not partisan. Like, he gave a speech this week. A lot of folks got all excited because he acted like a normal president. It's like, this is what it's come to. You know, the bar's been lowered so much that the, when the leader of the free world acts like a normal professional person, <laughs> Americans get all excited. <laughs> he didn't act like a lunatic. Who would have thought he could do that? Reminds me of when Chris Rock was talking about men who want praise for doing something a normal man just does. <laughs> he mentioned some guys proudly say, I ain't never been to jail, or I take care of my kids. It's like, dude, that's nothing to be proud of. You ain't supposed to go to jail. You're supposed to take care of your kids, man. Trump, it's like, wow, our president didn't act like an immature lunatic. He gets a gold star as a report card. Maybe a lollipop. But anyway. <laughs> now, it's March now. They say it comes in like a lion, goes out like a lamb. In like Mufasa, out like lamb chop. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember lamb chop? Sock puppet for children's shows. Adorable, right? It's name, though. Really? Lamb chop? It's like... Did anyone, anyone think this is weird, like they were sitting around, guys, we need a name for this cute little lamb puppet with, that talks to kids. What do you think we should call it? You know, I know food. <laughs> Seems a little bit weird. Like, what other children's puppets were there? Some cute little piglet puppet named Bacon. Some little cat puppet named Ribeye. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day is coming up. As most Americans know, it's a day to wear green and get drunk because of some Irish thing. Some guy, some say that the guy, this guy drove out all the snakes in Ireland. People actually believe that. Could you imagine one guy trying to get rid of all the snakes in the entire country? <laughs> like some dude looking for snakes and eggs under every rock, every log, behind every tree, and all the weeds. Like I can't even imagine one guy getting rid of all the snakes in Eugene, <laughs> let alone the entire country of Ireland. Like so. <clears throat> now, uh, as a kid, much of St. Patty's Day for me involved a frustrating search for four leaf clovers. Did you guys ever find a four leaf clover? Yes. You did. So, yeah, I never did. <laughs> I was starting to think people were bullshitting me just to screw with me, you know? Like, <laughs> hey guys, watch this mic. Here, I hear someone spotted a four-leaf clover out there. And they watch me walk over the yard picking clovers, no three, 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 three. They're probably watching me laughing their asses off. Well, I guess that's how you keep an idiot busy. <laughs> now, leprechauns. What do you guys know about leprechauns? Not much. I never knew much about these guys. Besides, you know, small green one that had hung out with a pot of gold. Find out they spend much of their time working on shoes. As far as I know, I've never seen any leprechaun made shoes. You guys have never seen the leprechaun made shoe. No. Serious question. Has anybody ever seen this leprechaun shoe in a store? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. It's been keeping me up at night though. <laughs> Spring break's coming up. Anybody ever go to Cancun or anything like that during college? I never did. One day though I did it. One time I did an alternative spring break. Did you guys ever do that? I was down in Arcana doing some environmental work. You know, similarities but differences. No drinking, no sex, chilly weather, did manual labor at a beach. You know, same kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at, it back, looking at it back now. Man, I got scanned. What was I thinking? Anyway, uh, for uh, St. Patrick's Day, I wrote a few little uh, limericks. Limericks are my favorite thing about Irish culture. Uh, top book. So. There once was a, there was an award show on Sunday for those who make movies in LA. The big moment came, they read the wrong name. Even Steve Harvey said, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Spring will be here really soon. I like seeing the flowers in bloom. Get your allergy pill or you'll feel really ill. You'll sneeze and hate life until June. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it. 